Good morning and welcome to this New Year's Eve live stream. It has been so many weeks since I've seen you guys and I've missed you all heaps. Um, it's been bedlam and chaos. But what we're going to talk about today is what are your family traditions at Christmas Eve? Uh, we have a few here that we sort of, I didn't really have that many as a kid. And as I've grown up and had a family of my own, we've decided to pull in a few random ones that we do here now for Christmas Eve. So, I mean, there's the, the stand, you're a week ahead. I don't know what that means. Um, there is a standard sort of Christmas Eve thing that we do here every Christmas Eve night is we open what we call our family box. Um, and it is, uh, in it, it's always a little bit different, so it is a surprise, but we will get a new set of pajamas, um, sometimes a book, sometimes a board game, usually some sort of beverage or something to make, eat or drink, and then we will sit down and we'll either play the game or we'll have some, um, some time reading the books or what have you, but you... Usually I also have got all the last minute preps for Christmas Day that I'm still running around doing. Oh, I said Happy New Year's of Eve at the beginning. I'm sorry. I understand now what Kim was saying. Christmas Eve. Sorry. Sorry. I am a week ahead. <laughs> um, but it is, it's really important in our family to celebrate Christmas. Sometimes it's the only time in a year that we get to see everybody. And we know that this year we're exceptionally lucky and we're very grateful that we are able to celebrate with our family we know that that is not the case for everybody around the world and not even everybody within Australia uh, there are some limitations happening in some states here in Australia we've had a new COVID outbreak and some new limitations have been placed so we are very very lucky and grateful that where we live where we live which is in Queensland and we are able to have our entire family here um, so we have got the hordes are coming we have some last minute additions so i've jumped from 12 to 18 um people that is coming for christmas tomorrow it will be lots and lots and lots of fun the other thing that we tend to do as a family on christmas eve is we run around like loons doing jobs by ourselves <laughs> so it's not so much as a family so what do you guys do as your family traditions on Christmas Eve. I'm just having a look here in the chat and we have got lots of Merry Christmases and Merry Christmas to you all and Happy Holidays to those of you that don't celebrate Christmas the same way that we do. I know that there's something like 14 different religious um, celebrations happening at this time of the year. Um, not all on Christmas Day, obviously, but around this Christmas period. So happy holidays to everybody. Uh, Game Widow says, here's pudding making, cake eating, Christmas carols, drinks and nibbles. Um, Chintami doesn't do much for Christmas. It's not really their thing, which I totally get. Good morning, Fox Elf. Um, Morning, glad I have something to watch while on the M1 at Border Control. Are you heading over to New South Wales? Oh my gosh. Um, Kathy Bry heads out to a Christmas Eve church service. Um, Jen is working both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So Talia is baking cookies for tomorrow. We've still got quite a list of things to get done here for our, um, for our Christmas Day. Um, which we're so excited for but i have got lists and i am working through my lists but because we had some extras that we weren't prepared for instead of the crochet craft i was planning on today i'm going to be doing some cricket craft and i hope that is okay with everybody um, i'm going to be naming a ball ball and putting some cheer on some cups um now Something very important that you all must understand. I'm very new to the cricketing game and I may not do things correctly. Um, just so that you all know, please do not take this as an instructional video. This is just how I do it. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Deb says that they go to their daughters for sausage rolls. Nice. Are they like nice homemade sausage rolls? They sound lovely. Um, we will be having, um, 
actually Abby sent me a photo uh, sorry a video on TikTok and it was like um, and it was a teenage girl opening the fridge and it's just jam-packed full of food and and it's like and it's like so much food but I don't know what I'm allowed to eat and it's a bit like that here at Christmas at the moment this morning so far I have already put all the chicken in for marinating so that'll get baked sort of tonight when it's a bit cooler um sally says we don't really do anything i tend to just wrap presents christmas eve but that's just me leaving things to the last minute look i like a bit of christmas carols on christmas eve as well um i'm not sure are there any televised carols this year for christmas eve i, I think there are um van fear is having says good morning merry christmas having a quiet one this year as family had a huge falling out i totally understand that kids still had their own little gatherings of friends this week oh that's good Game Winner says there's a big box under the tree with my name on it. Ooh, what could it be? Do you have you asked Santa for something that comes in a big box? Or are they doing what I used to do to my brothers, which is buy something small and then stick it in a big box with all padding and wrapping so they couldn't hear it when they shook it? Um us uh, Kathy's doing hers now or the cat will open them when we actually set up our Christmas tree our bottom um round of leaves we actually just hang like 50 little bells around it because Tibbles our cat is insane for Christmas as well and or more so when he was younger and he goes totally do lally um Jen says, I don't have the Christmas spirit this year. Jen, I understand how you feel, actually. I feel like I'm a little bit like, okay, I'm just trying to go through the motions and hope that it happens. I actually think tomorrow when all the family I haven't seen for 12 months comes in, um, it is uh, one of those sort of things where um, we live not too far from each other, but we're always so busy we don't actually get to see each other. So I've got like my my um, my niece who I saw Christmas before last, and Christmas before last was her first Christmas. So she's gone from little baby to like barely walking to like this mega three year old. So yeah, um, I put orange peels on the bottom of the tree. Yeah, that that works as well. Cats really hate citrus. Remember we had a problem with um, like random cats coming in our yard harassing. Um, my animals so we just would throw orange peels around it really stopped them it's amazing what can be done hey Friday ketchup welcome to the chat um, so yeah so what I'm gonna be doing today is not yarn crafting is that okay because I always feel bad when I don't do yarn craft when I do something else um, the game winner says we didn't even put the tree up at our house we put it up at my folks house but that's the thing if you're not even gonna be home at all for Christmas it's kind of like what's the point Friday Ketchup says, Merry all the holidays. That's a fantastic way to say it, Friday Ketchup. So here at Fiberific, we are not closing down. We are doing a slowdown this year. So there'll be orders posted today and they will be getting the um, upgrade to Australia Post. If you're on the newsletter, you would have known about that. If you are not on the newsletter, go and jump on my website and check down the bottom of the screen. There is a place to sign up for our newsletter. Um, but basically I am upgrading all the parcels. You don't need a code. You don't need anything. And even those people who don't know about it are getting their express upgrades. Um, there's no way it will make it before Christmas, <laughs> but at least you'll get it soon after when the deliveries restart. So, uh, yeah, uh, expanded chick is interfacing. That is awesome. Box Elf is heading home to spend Christmas with her sister and her dad, but she's stuck here at the border. So glad it's a live day. Oh, um, I'm, I'm, I am thinking, um, Stacy says my beads just arrived by and he posted those yesterday. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, it is, it's, we're trying to keep on top of all the things. There's a few things that have been delayed. Um, Mystery Lace Club, unfortunately has not gone out. Those of you in Mystery Lace Club will have already received, um, uh, received an email about that with all the details um i did not cry cut these i actually bought them but i mean seriously i think i could cry cut better ones now but they're, they're a little bit like blah, blah. i could just like there we go 
they just won't stand up. They're numpties. Um, Friday, catch my in-laws tomorrow, taking the full bottle of gin and trying to get my mother-in-law toasted. Well, that's certainly a way to do it. We have got, we have, we may have purchased some, or purchasing today, some additional alcohol supplies. Um, I don't, I try not to get too toasted when there's kids around, but, you know, a couple, a couple of bevies is never a bad thing at our Christmas parties. Um, I could totally crack at them. They're so thin. They could, they're less than two mil. They're less than two mil. All right. So one of the things I've got to do is um, I'm going to drop down into the double a camera. Da, da, da. So these cups come blank like this. And I've been putting some sort of mandalas on them. And I've got some extras here. Um, and th these, this one. The boys' ones I haven't been mandalaring. I've just been putting their name on it. Um, but the girls' ones, I give them a little mandala. I put their name on it um, and go from there. Um, but I've realised th the names I've got to do are not um, in my setup. So I'm going to have to do some computer stuffing to um to make that work as well um kim i have a question i am trying to make weeding um squares right and they keep when i attach it it keeps making the font not visible what am i doing wrong i'm sending it to the square to the back and they're all um cut squares but i'm doing something wrong and i don't know what i'm doing and it's driving me insane um one thing i do need to grab that i didn't grab i don't think I need to grab some more transfer tape so I'm just going to get that where did I put it I put it somewhere safe where did I put it hello transfer tape bros there you are and by transfer tape I mean cheap ass contact <laughs> I have this huge roll that I bought a couple of years ago for co covering my daughter's books. And she was just like, I don't need you to cover my books anymore. And I'm like, what am I going to do with all this contact? And then I heard that um, people prefer... Oh, hang on. Uh, my shopping list for my husband has not been shared. Hang on. I've got to, I've got to add collaborator TJ Hills. Uh, I, I don't know what to suggest. Save. Hang on. All right. So Tim's out and about doing his stuff. Try sending to the front instead of the back. Okay, I can I can try that. All right. Um, what I want is I want a little piece. Luckily, these can get reused. So the contact, I found out that everyone who crickets is just like dude don't buy the expensive transfer tape cheap contact is the way to go so i'm like right well i'm sorted <laughs> i got toe tapes okay friday kitchen i swear i haven't touched alcohol today Ooh, i like those cups socially acceptable sippy cups for adults absolutely they are they are really and like you can stick a straw in there if you really want to um, I'm not a straw user personally, but um, you can. Um, sappy, sippy, it doesn't matter if you... I mean, that's that's legit, Kathy. That is legit. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this up. I, I'm not going to share the screen of the software I'm using um, just because I don't know if I'm allowed. I, I've never checked. I mean, I'm, I, I, could, I could, you know... Okay, so if we send to the front, bring that, put that there, and then attach. No, it still did it. Oh, it's driving me insane. Because um, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I don't understand what I'm doing that makes it work or not. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, you know what? I'm just not going to use um, a weeding square. Um Back to school means there'll be kilometres of contact on sale. Absolutely. But I don't think I'm going to need any for about five years the way I... Because you can reuse it. That's the thing. You don't have to use it once and bin it. Um, 
I drink with a straw while I'm driving so I don't have to tip my head back. Actually, that's that's valid. That is definitely valid. Okay, so if we center front, go there, attach. It still went to the back. I don't know why it's not being nice to me. And then it changes its color and makes it match the center back. Put that there. Go there. Attach. Oh, it just hates me. Do you know what? I'm just not going to do weeding mats for these. I've only got a couple to do, so I'll just trim. I'll just trim. Um, oh, actually, I didn't check to see. I've just been looking at it from this screen. Hang on, Kim. I'll just um, I'll do attach and then click make it and see what happens. Ah, oh, you know what? You're right. It's I may not be able to read it on the other screen, but at the make it screen, it's fine. Ah, oh, okay. All right. So that one's good. I have to um that's just delete we don't need those and a weeding square add a shape make a shape go like this resize the weeding square because kim's a very good teacher kim's been teaching me all i need to know about the cricket as a matter of fact kim's teaching a workshop it's not a workshop it's a camp it's a retreat for beginners I don't know if I was supposed to tell anybody that, Kim. Sorry. Um, cut. Let's put that there. Attach. Let's see if it goes there. Hey, freaky geek. Oh, no, that one didn't work. All right. Hang on. Detach. Bring that there. Center back. Send. And then make it black. So, you know, I can still see it. Oh, my gosh. This is just, it's like, this was, this is supposed to be the easy part. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow uh, <laughs> did I say it, say it right what did I say right because you know I often say things wrong okay hide 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 all the things actually I need to double check these now that I've hidden all the things I don't know if I've made them big enough. Um, I'm not teaching, I'm just mentoring. Okay, good call, good call. Um, freaking nearly forgot what day it was. Oh my gosh. Oh, do you know what? Friday ketchup, it's it's a war between Kim and I because I actually think it's cry cut. Um, and and there is disagreement over, over, you know. Okay, so that's seven with four high. No, no, they're right. Attach, attach, make it. Um, and Kim says cricket. And then if, if if I want to learn how to do it, then I have to say Kim's way or she's six actual crickets onto me like she did at the retreat we went to. And I'm terrified of bugs. So, yeah, she thinks that's great. Um, all right, let's pop those up there. We need some. All right, continue. I need to put some stuff. Here's, I'm just doing the names in white. To go on the cups. Oh, actually, I've cut that one. I better not use that. I better just go over here. And use a little thing, make sure it's all on good and proper. Should probably turn the cricket on. Um, she always says cricket now, she started a plague and now she's scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. It, no, it's the insect. It is, it, at that, you know, we went to this um, bag making retreat. No, was it a bag? No, it was just a, just a weekend away retreat. And I kept saying cry cut and Kim was like, if you keep saying cry cut, it's going to be bad. We get back to our room and there's a massive cricket right next to my pillow. I did not like it. Um, 
scaring others is always great. Yeah, Kim's very, very, very good at scaring. Oh, look out, my brother's heading towards the barbecue. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, let's get these names going. They are printing and going. So while that's doing its thing, we move these things out of the way. So while that's happening, we will start transferring some of these guys onto so I've got a couple more cups here for the girls in rose gold what's that so they need a little clean because I've learnt make sure it's all clean first so I've got a little bit of isopropyl um, what you learn at Cricut Retreat is that the first thing you do with your Cricut is label all your Cricut things with your Cricut so Crickets are supposed to be good luck. Um, yeah. Oh, Tim's home. Hopefully he's got what he needed. Is that some scratch on that one? Oh no, it's coming off, whatever it is. Rub, rub, rub. Gently rub hard. Gently rub hard. I'll just give it a little zhuzh, zhuzh. And then... The red ones I've noticed do wipe red off. Okay. All right. Oh, and colours. We'll see if Tim was able to find one more cup for us so I could do one for my brother. Otherwise, I'm sorry, Dan, but you miss out. That one's for Cohen. Oh, I touched it after I cleaned it. How annoying. All right. That's all good. Okay. Four foot flames are imminent. I love the four foot flames being imminent. All right. So we've got the cutout happening. You can't see it because it's blinding white. So what I'll do is I'll peel off the board. Put its little sheet back on it, slide it away, and make it so you guys can see, I need my glasses, I just about pulled my antlers down, antlers are not glasses, um, I have a little bowl for rubbish, there's too many things, too many things. Um, do you guys have a, a favorite Christmas song? What's your favourite Christmas song that you have that hasn't done your head in? I got, I haven't been Whamageddon yet, but um, just about everybody I know has. I think a big part of it is I don't actually listen to the radio like a heathen. All right, let's trim this out. Get it there. Get this last little. Kim is probably like cringing that I do things in all the wrong order. Um. Dan might get an eye on you. Or he might just straight up miss out because I found out this morning that him and his four kids are coming to Christmas tomorrow after they most definitely said no thank you. Okay, now we also have got the girls' names that we've got to do and I use a different font for the girls. So um, I might put one on just so that we can we can do it. Um, at the moment it's last Christmas. Okay. Um, 
Oh, I got these cups. These ones in particular I got from Kmart. Um, but Aldi have some as well. Lots of places have them. But the K these ones are pretty colours. We were able to get, I don't think I've got a teal. We've got this rose gold, this beautiful bright red, which I just love. It's very Christmassy. This really deep dark blue. And there's also like a really pretty teal, but I don't have any of those ones left. They're inside already with names on them. Um, my nails are gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Van Fia. My nail lady went above and beyond. This one here is textured. It's totally 3D. It's of a, of a poinsettia. It's gorgeous. I love my nail lady. She just does beautiful work. Um... I'm just having a look here. Um, yeah, lots of places have them. Uh, I like Grandma got run off by a reindeer. That's cool. Spanish got whammed at Coles. Oh, so frustrating. Um, uh, Friday says, I've only heard Christmas music in the grocery stores, but I want a hippopotamus for Christmas was always a winner. Well, um... Do I see a hole where you can hang these? Sorry, I'm a bit confused. I see no Ds on those now. It's just nice, interesting pop-out pictures. Uh, okay. The cups are narrow, the most similar ones, so they're better for my child's. I like them. I think they're a good size cup, especially for me. These are clean, so I'm not going to touch it yet. But, yeah. All right, let's get Cohen's name on his. No, let's just let's put a... Let's do this one. We we're going to. And then we got sidetracked by that. Okay. So this one's already been weeded. Um, it's just, I just found some really pretty, um, what do you call them? Mandela sort of shaped things. They're really nice. So I've got a pile of them. I need to do some more for the girls. So we'll get to weed those today. Yay. Because I normally do a big one and a little one and their name. So, but I'll tell you one thing that's bad about nails is contact. But in saying that, I think I always struggled with contact. So I don't even think it's a nails thing. I think it's just a Chantel thing. Oops, oops, oops. There we go. So apparently this is called burnishing. I don't know. Everything's got its own language and lingo of, I'm like, rub the crap out of it. But apparently it's called burnishing. So let's burnish it. And then we peel away the backing tape. We'll just fill down the white. We make sure that none of, oh, like that bit there, comes up. This is the bit I always struggle with. Except for today. You guys are good luck. You're absolutely good luck. Okay. So silver. I'm thinking, why was this so much easier inside? It's because I had um, I had a tea towel all folded up. There we go. I've got something. Is it clean is the question. Okay. So I just, it was actually one of these, funnily enough. Co-cloths. A bit of a co-tragic. And then I can put that there. And it doesn't roll around. And then... And I'm not really good at this. So most of mine go a bit hinky. All right. So we don't judge Chantel's newfound skill. All right. Back of a teaspoon would probably work. Yep, yeah, probably. Anything that rubs and... My family are not purists. They don't know. 
You need a pool needle and some PVC pipe. I do. Kim's like queen of the, the things. She's got this whole game down pat. Hers would look awesome. Okay. There's my little doobie. Doobie. Let's give it a... And I've gotten really good at getting in with my little Sharpie tool and moving things around later. Okay. Let's hope that doesn't steal any of the ones we left from before. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Sorry. Now, these are not dishwasher proof. Oh, get back on there, little thingy. You don't get to come off. Yay! Put the contact back on its little backing paper. So we've got a few little spots that aren't ideal. Some will push out. Some will not push out. You just scratch them. I just squish them in because I'm a pro. <laughs> um, you can use a tennis ball, really. I mean, that's not surprising. I mean, anything that puts a bit of pressure on it would do it, right? There we go. Let's not look too close. That will do. <laughs> And then there's room for my niece's name, Emily, on that one. We'll just go, la, 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 let's not look too closely. Eek. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. We've got Cohen's cup is ready. The boys, I'm being very sexist, I know. The boys, I'm just straight up putting their names on them because I didn't know if they want would want any sort of, like, pretties. Or if they would be insulted if I put pretties on it. I mean, there's, I'm sure my husband's like, you can't put something funny on mine. I'm like, I probably could, but not this week. All right. Cohen. Let's line you up, buddy. And this is how my family spelled Cohen. My family are indigenous and Cohen means thunder and he was born in a thunderstorm. So I am pale. I am so pale. It is kind of the joke of the family. Um, there we go. Cohen's is done. One down. I mean, his was easiest really because it was that. What do you think? Cool, 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 cool. All right, got Daniel's name aside for if Tim can manage to find him a cup. Let's do the girls' names. How's everybody going? Like, I'm sorry, I'm very focused on what I'm doing here and I really should be chatting with you guys, but um, when you lean forward, my antlers come in the camera. Do they? Okay. Um, I love the peekaboo antlers, it's like when I'm doing this. I'll have to check it. Sorry, sorry. I just thought it was another set of scary hands. I mean, it could be. It could be. Um, I think contact is always painful to use Talia. Yes, I agree with you. But in these teeny tiny little amounts, it's much easier. It's much easier. Um, so, yeah. Kim would strategically place it so it's not over the rounded section. Oh, uh, yeah. With, with this one, like... On the big ones, pushing it up more is heaps better. But with the little ones, I need to leave room for their name. So technically, I could just have one, but I don't. I put in two. Actually, I think I've just, I think I've botched it. Anyway, um, I'll have to put a name around here a bit. That was dumb. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, these cups are, hand even when they're not vinyl, they're hand wash only. Um, we realized with one of the cups, the actual just sticker that was on the cup 
actually peeled off some of the metallic coating. I've just put my hands all over this cup. Where's the, where's the thing? Um, so the, the actual metallic coating on these ones is a little bit fragile. So, you know, we'll just, we'll just, you know, be good. Diagonal name placement is a thing. It is a thing. You're right. It's absolutely a thing. Um, oh, that was silly. I don't think the gold. Do you think the gold will work on this or do you think it's too similar a colour? I don't know. What do you think? Otherwise, I can just print out some more and keep this one. There was a spare anyway. Um, I did not look at the face cam. I would not have known her antlers. Sorry, freaky. I'm sorry to scare you all with my antler assistance here. Ah! I didn't realize how bad it was. Um, I reckon that was user error, i.e. Abby's fault. What was user error? <laughs> uh, print out some ones. Yeah, I'm going to print out some more. So I've got, I just right here, I have a collection of vinyls in the various colors that we used when we did the rest of the cups, which I should have brought out to show you. Um, so I'll just print out some more and we can weave those while we chat. Um, but I do want to do the girls' names first. So I want to get their names on. And I also need to do one of the Christmas balls in gold. Remind me it needs to be in gold, okay? So I'm just clearing some space here. I might even just put some gold down just straight up so I do it. I might just do it right now. So... And it's an unusually spelt name, so I have to double check that I've spelt the name right. What to do with my thing? There it is. My internet's a bit spotty today, so I might not be chatty and just lurking. I totally, totally understand. Sally, I agree with you. The rose gold is probably too gold, but we're going to put the gold on this guy. Um, or should we do pink? Because it's for a little girl. What do you think? It's just going to have like some little snowflakes and Tamika. Maybe pink? Or the bauble in gold. I don't know now. I did it in gold because um, it was originally going to be a boy's one, but now it's going to be a girl's one. Oh, I am torn. I am so torn. Pink from Sally. Who else is saying pink? So let's um, my, save this and then I'll jump in to the, my projects and see if I can't. There's the girls' bubbles. Um, use both colours. No, I don't want to use both colours. I'm too, too, you know. Uh, oh, what font did I use for the girls? Oh my god. Abby, what font did I use? Undo. Uh, let's detach. Then detach. So we can take Freya's name out of that one and put Tamika's name in. But I don't know what font I use because I think I imported those. <sighs> Abby would know because she picked it. Messaging Abby. <laughs> um, what font for girls' names? Hopefully, Abby's in the kitchen doing her um she's doing her uh what do you call it gingerbread house so hopefully she gets it she didn't get my last one oh no um do you know what did you not take notes oh look freaky i did but they're not out here they're in my other they're in my craft room where i did all this setup originally um messenger abby i think she sent me um Oh, come on, font names. It seems that Abby and I message each other a lot. Um, okay, we're getting closer. No. Okay, 
All right. Uh, did I keep a note for it? I, I know. I, oh, I'm going insane here. I might just have to make Tamika's a different font. Um, there's going to be no flipping. What use? But uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I normally do my craft in my in my house and then just come out here and print it. Um, there's going to be no flipping bread rolls left waiting for Harvey to come pick me up his defo on the naughty list. <laughs> Oh, I've been thinking about doing a Christmas shirt that's like naughty, nice, or um, what's let, uh, we need a chat or something along those lines. All right, let's just let's just type a name in for a start. Text T A M uh, Messenger. Abby, tell me how to spell it. T A M I K A H T E M I K A H. That's a boy's font. I don't want the boy's font. It was, it was one of my system fonts. Ah. Uh, um. We had one for sale at work that was naughty, nice, and trying. That was it, trying. That's what I does when looking for a font. Go down the list to see what looks right. <laughs> well, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm definitely at. Oh, I'm trying to remember the names because Abby is all about the names of the fonts. And I'm just like, which one is it? I have no idea. And I've just downloaded a whole pile of fonts, honestly, you guys. Um, take a quick break and go ask. We'll wait. Yeah, because it's so exciting sitting here watching me do this, isn't it? <laughs> I'm always trying his patience. <laughs> I love that. Look, oh, this is so hard. I thought I saved it somewhere else. I am. I'm just, okay, guys, I'm going to run in. It's going to do my head in, so I'm going to be right back. So if anyone jumps in the chat, tell them I haven't gone far, okay?
can help me. Nobody can help me. No one knows the name and I can't find the, my little saved thing because my brain's like, ah, they're, they were right. Um, where are we? What did I miss? What have I missed? <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. I'm just going to go with something cute. Um, that's not too curly. I mean, that's pretty curly. Not Comic Sans, you guys. Not Comic Sans. Definitely not going to be that. All right. I'm just having one last quick look. Because for some reason my brain thinks it starts with an M. The answer is no. Okay. Times Romans. No, not Times Romans. Ah, uh, I can't think of font names much. Look, I'm I'm with you. I'm like my brain's just like just choose a font, any font. Oh my god, Chantel. It's not that hard. But then it is that hard. Uh windings and eat, but you can't decode what it means. Uh, yeah, that's truth. That's definitely truth. Um everything's just a bit too curly and I'm not good with curly. Ariel, nope. Oh my gosh, I am so boring. See, I could have sworn I moved some of these, so I didn't think that I had um, ten percent. <laughs> you guys are the worst, honestly. <laughs> oh dear, no, that's yeah, that's an uh, that's ah uh, okay. Something. Let's go with no. Um, I'm going to do that, that word market website. Let me see if I can. Because I know what it looks like and word market is great for helping me. I should have just done this from the start. So if you guys don't know a word marker, I had never heard of it. What it does is you type in the word um, that you're looking for and it brings it up in every script on your computer. And it's really great. Okay, I'm just going to go with something called um, Lobster. That looks good. Okay, so let's change this to lobster it's chunky but it's also got a little bit of detail at least it does when you've got a capital A um, let's bring it in and then we want to
ungroup the letters because that T is so far away from all the others. There we go. That'll do. Yay. All right. We've done it. Regroup all the words. Regroup so I don't separate the letters of the name. And that needs to be five. We've done it. By Jove, we've done it. Okay. Um, send to the back. Send to the front. Resize this. Oh, this is... Un yeah, I've attached it all. I've just got to resize my square. There we go and attach the square okay now make it all right we've got to hide all the others and we're going to make it pink on the silver bauble is that what i'm doing i'm so frazzled you guys i've gone inside for that second right and abby's like oh the icing's too runny and tim's like oh just while you're here i just wanted to ask and i'm just like oh my god no is the answer to all of your questions. Okay, we're gonna put the pink on. Like I'm still live on YouTube, you guys. Um, just burnish that on. I can't quite see what I'm doing just off camera there. All right. Let's feed it into the monster. Feed, feed, feed. Okay, then we're going to go continue. And it's premium final. The tip is in. We're cutting again. Oh, I found a... Did I bring it out? I didn't. I found another one of these inside. I must have left it in there. It was a pink one. Okay. Yay. <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> All right. We'll move this one to the side because we're going to do the bauble next. So Cohen's is done. Let's move Cohen's over there so it's out of the way. Emily still needs her name. The three girls need their names. I've been roasting some ham chunks for my better half lunch. Oh, nice. We picked up some ham yesterday. Um, we being Tim, because I don't leave the house to go to the stupid shops at this time of the year. Uh, um, there we go. It's just making the weeding box and it's done. All right, we'll peel. Um, yeah. Under there, four shape keeping. All right, get the thingy. You guys can. I'll try not to put the antlers in so much. I'm super conscious now. Um, th three seconds before I did my IG live, hubby decided to call out the door that the cat looked like she was going to do something gross. What the heck am I supposed to do with that info? I know. You're just like, wait, like, what? What? Oh no, one of the little snowflakes didn't come out. Hang on. I'm just gonna like jimmy it in. Okay, so it's normally up higher. There we go. I mean, it's not in the usual spot, it's not perfect. It'll do. It'll do. She's three. I don't think she'll notice that the little bicycle spots no actually you know what knowing my luck she will notice she'll be like oh my god why is mine different than everybody else's <sighs> no look i can't imagine she'd do that i'll leave the pink because we want to make a thingy in the pink okay 
peel off a bit in the bucket it goes all right let's bring over the bubble we'll make a little bubble nest hello bubble nest uh, i realized i need there we go a little bubble bed oh oh bubble Then have a dry for a second while we put the transfer tape on. All the things. Sorry, guys. I know I'm. I'm like not talking. I told him to lock her in the laundry. Ah, uh, gosh. Yeah, that's right, Freak. You'll have to remember to watch your step later. Oh, my gosh. So I stepped out of the door here before and Snowy was sitting out there just looking at the shack. And then when I've gone to come back in, she didn't want to come in. But um, we've had sad news on the snowy, snowy front. And it's not the worst. I mean, it's bad news. It's not the worst it could be, but it's about as good as it can be. Hang on. Just do this and then I'll chat more. Hang on. I'll get this on. Get the little tool. Try not to crush the ball wall. Hope it's on straight. <laughs> um, hey, Rebecca. Welcome to the chat. All right. Um, so our poor Snowy has been... Oops, nearly forgot the eye on the Tamika there. Um, she's been very unwell. And she lost a lot of weight very suddenly. And was, you know, making messes in the house, which is unlike her. She's normally very good. She's, you know, 10 years old, very well toilet trained. There we go. Tamika. It's a bit bright, but so um, there we go. Um, and we took her to the vet, which is why we couldn't live stream because she was at the vet. And we found out that poor old Snowy has got a large cancerous growth in her bladder and also on her spleen. And then we had to go back to the vet on Monday to find out more details because uh, we had to go to the vet. And they referred us on to a different vet who could do all the scans. And then we had to go back to our old vet. Um, but it turns out that our poor old Snowy is only going to have about four to six months. So it's better than four to six days, which at the stage she was very unwell. So um, it's, you know, it's one of those things, but she's got four to six months um, and she's a lot better. So they've given her a little bit of medication that helps her with her, you know, problems. It won't solve the overall problem, but it will make her quality of life better. So we're, we're pretty sad, but at the same time happy, if that makes sense. Um, like, because we've we've got time, we've got time with her, so she's getting she's she's milking it, she's milking it, she's getting all the tummy rubs and she's living on on dog mackers like my dog. <laughs> the vet said that whatever she'll eat, because we were having problems with getting her to eat, so she would eat this wet food. So the vet's like, you know, if she wants to eat it, let her eat it. It's better than nothing. But if you can get her to eat something better, it's better. But so Snowy's been having a bit of dog mackers. So she, yeah, she's being spoiled rotten Friday ketchup. So it's a bit sad, but we've got time. Whereas our last couple of pets, it was very sudden that we lost them. Um, whereas with Snowy, it's, we've got some time. So, um, all right, Tamika's is done. Sorry to jump around guys. I can't, I can't focus on that. It makes me really sad, but I felt like you deserved um, to know because I missed my time with you guys last week because I had to go and 
and do that but um but yeah so all right i'm gonna have a sip of water now one thing i already had made which i don't know where i put it where did i put the box it's probably inside i probably left it in the house because i didn't need it out here hang on oh no there it is there it is there it is we made boxes for all our baubles with all little layers and things so we can put them in a box with her name on it and then we close the lid and we put some art on the top of the box and then we did a made by Chantelle and abby on the back and there we go, Tamika's in her box. Um, so yeah, so there we go. That one's ready. Ready to go. Yay! Two things totally done. Woohoo! Three things to go. Um, thank you guys. I really do appreciate your understanding. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, Let's make some Mandela things. That's pretty where's my. <laughs> well, we even glittered the baubles. So they were clear baubles from Lincraft. And we put in some high gloss um, stuff. I can't remember the name of it. Kim, what's the name of the stuff I put in? Um, it came in a tin and there's enough for about a million baubles in a little tin. Um, and you sort of swirl it around. Um, and then you tip it upside down over a plastic cup and let all the excess drain out. And then once you notice it stops dripping, just sort of give it a, I tipped it up the right way and just made sure it was all good. And then just put tons of glitter in it and rolled it around. So you get a super sparkly bauble with no chance for the glitter to escape. Cal Cabot's varnish. Thank you, Kim. Um, so there's, so we all get glittery baubles without having to worry about glitter getting all over the house because, you know, glitter. Um... All right, what I'm going to do next is I saw a lady use hairspray. Okay. Yeah, we used what we used varnish. We didn't use Mod Podge. We wanted something that ha that had a really hot, like glossy finish. Um, they are really pretty and we've really enjoyed making them. Like this this morning it sounds like I'm frazzled and I'm not enjoying it. Um, <laughs> you're right, John. You're right. Um but it's just because I've got a few extras to do last minute. I had everything all done. You should see. I'll take a photo of it later. But it was, it's like all of the named things were like along the hutch waiting for everyone to arrive. Um, and then I got a call this morning letting me know that there's five extras. And because everything's named, you can't be all like, oh, well, I'll just get them something else. No. Yeah, glitter does breed faster than bunnies. You are right. Um, now, do I have... That's that one. Uh, girl names for the cups. Oh, you're not going to believe it. I think I just found the font. <laughs> oh, goodness me. All right, let's have a look. I'll see. If, let me see if, if, if I'm just, you know, losing my mind. Oh no, there it is. Varsity letter. Oh my god. Okay. That's okay. Because I will use this now, this information, to make the cup names for the girls. Emily. Emily. Um, I do like the lobster though. Varsity. So annoying. Varsity letter. No, that's not right. Hang on a second. No, I think I must have. Uh, hang on. And group. No, no, 
For some reason, it's just telling me it's varsity letter. That's weird, right? <sighs> that's not right. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, it's not varsity letter. Varsity letter is something totally different. Um. Group. I don't want to lose them. Oh, do you know what it is? The font's on my other laptop, and I built this on the other laptop, and now I can't build it here because I don't have the font downloaded. Like a numpty! Oh my gosh. Um, is it too early for an Easter hair gunk? Yeah, it is. It is. That's all right. We liked lobster. Lobster is what we're going with. Um, <sighs> this is frustrating. I'm frustrated right now. I wanted everyone's to be the same. Not going to be because I don't know the name of this font. Kim, what was that, that website that you said find the font or whatever it is I can't I'm scrolling back through the chat you guys what the font okay so do I just go what the font what the font What the font? Drop an image. Oh, but I don't have an image. <sighs> this is so hard. Oh, wait a second. I do have an image. <laughs> All right, hang on. There it is there, Abby. What the font? Click here to identify the font. None of these are fonts that I have. They are not telling me the right thing. They're all liars. Not helping, not helping. All right, I'm going to stop looking at that. Okay, having roast beef, nice. You sound like you should be in a scene in, on the good place. I feel like I should be in a scene at the good place. Um, no, no, that gold motif's not going on the gold cup. That was a that was an extra that we had from when we had blues and purples and all sorts of stuff. Let's let's just go on and make the motives. I'll I'll deal with the um I'll deal with the other things later. So let's quickly go back. Um, images, Mandela. Okay. Type. Cut only. Um, let's go with this one. Front and both. Okay, that one. And that one. So many cool Mandela things. I wish I could show you guys. You'll be able to see them all in a second. I'm just going to grab a few. Okay. Alrighty. 
to make them the right size. Hang on, I need to make my screen big. Ungroup. There we go. Big one down to 10. Whoops. Okay, we're just making all these mandalas all pretty. Once they're done, I'll be able to chat more. Sorry, guys. Um, ungroup. Ungroup. There we go. Make that one 10. Got to make them small enough so they fit on the cups. Okay, all right, go to make it. Where'd you get that job? Do -do -do -do. Okay, so we're going to be doing mandalas on rose gold cups. I'm, I'm going to show you some colors here. So we've got some pink. I don't think the gold will work, so I'll leave the gold. We've got some blue some teal and some silver but i only want to do three colors so which one should i do you guys um are you off work till the fourth nice i'm technically not closed at all but i'm doing a big slowdown where i'll only be shipping once a week I'll bring this down so we can have a bit more colors in the shot okay silver and teal should work well we want three so silver teal and there's nothing on any of these no nope, not yet so let's get silver going while we chat blue teal silver yes yeah, so the silver and the teal are definitely getting done all right got the first sheet in ready to go kathy says blue as well so move the pink out and because their names will just be written in white as well so that'll stand out as well Okay, so let's go with you in the silver. Um, continue. Premium vinyl. All right, we've got three mandalas coming out on silver. I don't mind having a few extras. We really like these mandalas and Abby's been, because it's permanent vinyl, we can get it off. Um, Abby's been sticking bits to her windows in her bedroom, so it's it's all right. Um, so we're going to do some in both colours, like all three. So silver, blue and teal. So thank you, guys. My brain is not helping me right now. Oh, and we've got silver on here and teal on there and we're just going to pop Emily's name there so she's the big sister and these are the little sisters ah oh, John sucks <laughs> oh you guys have been amazing thank you so so much not just for your support today but your support all year like every week you all turn up and you all keep me company while I craft or rant or 
or you know whatever but you're always here and you're always willing to keep me company and I think it's just wonderful and I really do appreciate you all um, I wasn't sure if you were doing three cups one color each or um, sorry I wasn't sure if you were doing three cups one color each or all colors on one cup yeah I try to I try to put a cup like I try to put sort of different colors on um, just to you know brighten them up <laughs> um, we have no lives oh goodness me um, what's penalty rates overtime pay penalty rates in Australia are if depending on the industry that you're in if you work public holidays or weekends you you're eligible to receive time and a half or double time for the extra hours that you've worked um, it's not always available but it's quite often available um, I'm always here but never all there no matter what the live <laughs> I love that freaky I love that and Rebecca tries to be here every week. I appreciate that, Rebecca. Thank you. And th thank you to all of you. It's been such a tumultuous year here um, with just, you know, everything that happened. And um, it, I'm kind of relieved it's over, but I think next year is going to be just as interesting, to say the least. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been, it's been fun-ish. <laughs> Most, oh look, the lives are always fun, but the rest of the time is not always fun. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's one of those things. So we're going to have lots of weeding to do. Mandalas do need lots of weeding. Um, yeah, so if you get like paid 10 bucks an hour usually, uh, at penalty rate, you'd be either paid 15 for time and a half or 20 for double time. So, I mean yeah it's it's pretty good it's pretty good my daughter where she's working she doesn't get penalty rates either but she actually gets paid above award for her hourly rate so what they do is they try and make it so that all the staff are willing to work whichever days because no one gets more pay to work the weekends so yeah Jen says my company doesn't do that we are slaves we I noticed when I was on salary I didn't get it it was just normal pay um, um, yeah like so when you normally when you're on salary you just work until the work's done um, Christina says we call that holiday pay at my job so yeah On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like your cry cat? Like 200? I love my cry cat. Um, I'm still learning and I'm still stuffing things up. Like one of the things that I've, I've done, hopefully none of the kids that are coming to my Christmas party are watching my live streams. So these are Zooper Duper holders. And so like, you know, like the long, thin icy poles. So you pop your icy pole in there and that means, and this is wetsuit material, so you don't get wet hands or cold hands. And so we've put everyone's names on these as well. Um, this was a fail. So I want to try and get that one off and reclaim it. Um, but yeah, that was just some gradient HTV. So you iron this one on. These ones you just lay on. This one you've got to iron on with heat. So... Um, Kat says thank you for being here it means a lot to me to have you and the gang sharing your craft of things it's never boring thank you Kathy we love having you here um, it, it's I I do feel guilty when I'm not doing yarn craft that's the one thing about my cricket Kim is that I do I am feeling guilty that it's not yarn craft but I'm also making things for yarn craft with it um, yeah that's right freaky it's a total bonfire I, I don't use technology at all um <laughs> what is this cry cut you speak of cricket cricket um i've still got sh christmas shirts to do which i have not done yet um and um 
yeah it's there's there's so much still to do but i think we're going to be out of time because i've got to go and start cooking after our live stream um but because my husband's like oh you, you should really do a shorter stream you should do a shorter stream everyone will understand you need to do stuff for christmas blah blah, blah. but i've got to get this done and i can do that and this at the same time so um deb d has behaved herself today yes you have deb but why why is the question so this one's a holographic one and i like that that's really swanky and this one was just one sheet that just gradiated from like purples through to yellows so yeah um deb d was cooking yep oh it's finished cutting all right so we've gotten that one's done can you see the outline there that we're gonna have to weed out all right let me just change because we can weed that while the next one's printing so we'll get some teal on there Oops, it's not very straight. I might fix that. Try again. Try, try harder. Try better. Okay. All right, let's do um oops cancel hang on a second i want to do that what we want okay that one's hopefully enough all right sorry i'm still learning how to do this thing so i keep stuffing things up and you know not making enough allowances for stuff We'll see. We'll see. All right, I've got my trusty little weeding best bowl thing. I'll start with the medium size one just because that's where my brain can go. Um, yeah, it's it's it is it's summer here. It's stinking hot. Um, a shorter stream. Don't he know the water? <laughs> yeah. Um, Besides the beef rose, we're not doing anything special. Just stay home as always. Yeah. Look, we've got, we've, we're very lucky here and we know how lucky we are. Um, my mum lives over the border and she's had to get a border pass to come. But she was also able to get a border pass to come as well, which was good. Come on, little. Actually, I might just give that a bit of an extra once over there before I start peeling. Come on little corner. Some people like to peel while it's still on the sticky mat and I don't blame them honestly. Getting that first corner up sometimes can be a real pain. Okay, here we go. Sorry antlers in the way. I'll try to keep the antlers out of the way. Here we go. 
See, we think these are still really cute, even without like the bits in the middle. Okay, now, so we've got little tiny bits we've got to get off. I struggle with the tiny bits. Abby's been doing a lot of weeding. That's what this, this part's called, apparently. I'm learning the lingo, you guys. I'm learning the lingo. Um, Kim said I should cancel. Well, I could cancel, yeah. She did. And she, and she was right. I knew if I cancelled, you guys would all totally understand. But I didn't want to cancel. I've missed hanging out with you guys. And I haven't hung out for a couple of weeks. And I'm really missing it. So I wanted to come in and chat. And I had to get this done anyway. And you guys are normally pretty understanding with, with me and my rando crafts that I've got to get done. So, you know. As long as you're okay with me not doing yarn craft while we chat, then we're good. And then these presents get done. And I don't feel guilty about kids missing out. Because it was doing my head in, honestly, this morning. My issue wasn't five extra people to feed or find seats for or whatever. My issue was like, oh my God, I don't have presents for these kids yet. And so, because I thought I was going to see them later. There we go. That one's ready to be transferred and then popped onto a cup. So I'll pop it over there. We'll do the next one. Oh, hang on. I'm trying to get into that habit of of um, giving it a bit of a roll before I try and peel it up. I found that if I do that, this is a much easier task um this one here i'm a little worried about it's a bit big and full on oh this one's so hard it's just got a little dot in the middle there we go that one's done so we've got another one hi melissa nunas we're just madly making some last minute christmas gifts that's one of the things i do love about the cricket compared to like yarn crafting which i love the best um, if you've got like, oh, hang on, I don't want to let go of that corner, but I also forgot to do the thing. Um, but yeah, this is definitely quicker for, for last minute gifts, as long as you have the supplies to stick things onto, because that's, that's, that's a trick. That's another one that's really pretty, just by itself. Um, and the right font, yes. Andy is worried after hearing about your big one. Sorry, I've missed something. My big one what? Yeah, the right font. Oh, he walked in and heard you say something about it. This big one is hard. Oh, I get it now. It's trickier. Oh, you guys are the worst, honestly. I don't know who's worse out of you all. Some of, the, some of you are just worse than others. And by worst, I mean good, by the way. I love it. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, that one stays. That one goes. That one stays. That one goes. All right, now we've got all the, now we've got the fiddly bits. Um, 
I must feel safe to let you see who I am. Yes, I think so. I think we all feel a little bit safe here and I think it's good. I think it's great actually because we can all be ourselves and we're all just that little bit, you know, <laughs> off kilter. <laughs> Well, maybe not all of us. Lots of us. Lots of us are a little bit off kilter. Oops, get off little thing. Roll around. Find somewhere else sticky. There we go. Most of us, not me, sadly, I'm a chicken. Oh, no, but, you know, you. I, I mean, we don't know if your real personality is, is you or not freaky, but we love you for who you're willing to show us. So... I'll get this one finished and then we'll get the blue one going because this one's nearly done. Get off the thing. I try to make Fibrific a safe space for us all. I think it's important to have somewhere that you can go and just hang and not worry. I mean, I'm sure we all worry, honestly. <laughs> My personality shines bright in the chats for sure. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Get off thing. All these little tips. I, I found it. I fell down a cricket rabbit hole, honestly. Like use a lint roller to help you get your sticky things off. Make sure you've got a little container nearby for putting all your rubbish in. Get uh-uh. Stop it. You're not staying. There we go. All right. I think this one is all done. Oops. Try not to. There we go. That one's ready. It might be a bit big for a cup, that one. We might save it for something else. Um. All right. Unload. We've got our teal sheet all ready. Okay, and we'll put our red, our blue sheet in. Blue, 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 blue. Might have to move the blue around. Might put it on the centimeter side so I can see it better. Okay, blue is on. All right. Okay. All right. I want to move object to sheet that one. And some of them they do, they put all the, the the pieces on separate sheets, and I want them all on the blue. So I'm just moving them to make it so they can all. Oops, that one there, be on the blue. All right, now we can go across to seventeen. And then we can go down to twenty-two. There we go. All right. Load the sheet. And then the blues will be cutting. Continue. With premium vinyl. Okay. Blue is cutting. We've got the teal here. Just around oh look at this random sheet of random <laughs> I'm still keeping it Okay. 
All right. I didn't know this new craft would be a rabbit hole, said no one ever. <laughs> uh, I have children to do my dishes. I, my daughter does not do the dishes. I, I don't know if I'm a very good parent. My husband does the dishes. Well, by doing the dishes, I mean he loads the dishwasher. He also unloads the dishwasher. that one man I like the outsides just as much as the inside it turns out get off thing stop it all right we'll be getting ready to put these on some mugs soon fingers crossed it ain't trash it because that's never happened before. Um, so that one's done. I like that, that's pretty. I actually like all of these. I really like the little mandalas. I've seen these amazing ones. It's like the shape of an elephant with all like the mandala stuff inside of it. And I really want to do one. And I've saved an entire sheet of like vinyl for it so that I can do a big one. But there's rules around using this because the cricket's my Christmas present and I'm allowed to make Christmas presents and I'm allowed to make Christmas things. And so me making myself an elephant does not tick either of those boxes, unfortunately. I really want to do the elephant though. That's going to be the first thing I do for myself is an elephant t-shirt for a giraffe. I love giraffes too, but an, the elephant face is one that I've seen. You know how some people like have a total favorite like animal and they've got their house decor all done in it and stuff like that. I don't have any of that. So that one's done now. Scary one. We're on to a scary one. Is the chat still happening or has something happened? Or is it just not very exciting being here today? Which I totally get. And I appreciate those of you that are still here. Look, that's so pretty. I'm tempted to put that on my table. Um, it's just kind of mesmerizing watching. Josephine's wrapping presents. I'm chasing up a secret Santa parcel I sent two weeks ago and the tracking has stopped. Oh, I understand that. I've been watching something as well. I am. I'm going to stick it on my table. I'm going to pop it over here in the corner. I'll take a photo of it and show you later. It's out of the way of where my wrists and stuff go. What that font? Okay, so I think, oh no, still got little bits here to do. 
That one was less scary than I thought it was going to be. I seem to recall. I think because last time I did the mandalas, I didn't know to rub them first. And when I peeled them up, I kept losing bits of them. And it was very frustrating. You have to sort of lay it back down and poke them back out. And the things that you learn, um, you could keep the tat keep the cutouts and use them for temporary tattoos. You could use them for so much, honestly. Oops. Get off. There we go. And the blues are nearly done. It's at ninety percent complete. There we go. That one's all finished. Have a sip of water. Oh, my cup's stuck to the container. <laughs> yeah, it is frustrating. The post has not been really out friend. In saying that, I've been getting some stuff hit places really fast and things come here really fast and then other things just get totally just stuck. Here we go. Here's our dark blue ones. Oh, they're pretty. All right, let's cancel this. Yes. Cancel. Leave that there. Drop that down. All right. Let's. Um, no, I want to peel this off and cut it out first. Oops. Don't whack the keyboard when you're doing things on the internet. We've got four of these, no really big ones, just, just some sort of mediums and smalls. Um, freak is a quack. Okay. Redbubble decided that my mug has been lost in the post and they're sending me another one and should arrive mid Jenner. Oh, Kathy, I'm so sorry. Christina says, I do the cooking and my husband washes up, but he prefers to wash them by hand even though we have a dishwasher. We have some things that still need to get done by, by hand, but sometimes I've noticed they sit there for some time before they're done. Okay. But they get done. Not by me. Um, sorry about that with the red bubble thing. It's so frustrating. And it'd be frustrating for them too because, you know, they've got to... Oh, get... Don't do that. Around and around and around it goes where it stops. Nobody knows. It, do you know, this is very therapeutic. You know how like there's like the colouring in and the Zen colouring in and stuff like that? I like to do that, but this is more fun. There we go. That's one. Oh, this one's going. It's got lots of little tiny bits in it. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. Definitely need my glasses for this job. Oh no! Tiny little cog attack and get back in your rubbish in thing I don't know go over there just just sit there sit there we go um 
sorry if this is a stupid question but do you see anything from the red bubble sales i don't know how it works i do um it's not a lot it's but it's it's a bit and i it's it's more look i wanted mugs is what it boiled down to i really wanted a mug for me and it was just as easy to leave them up for everybody so we could all have mugs um it's normally just a couple of bucks um but you know it's good okay now for 11 million teardrops <clears throat> I'm just checking the chat every now and again as well. Teardrop one. Come on, don't do this to me. There we go, one. I'm just stabbing them. Stab the little thing. Oh, that one doesn't work now. Now I'm like, oh, I'm just stabbing it. It's like, well, I'm not coming out then. I can hear my car being loaded out there. It sounds like a job on the list is being done. I made a list. I made a list. Um, I never got no bubbles that was red. I feel gypped. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Oh, come on, little thing. There we go. So, does everybody have big to-do lists of things that they want to get done before the end of the year? And are you planning on New Year's resolutions? Just so you know, we are live streaming on New Year's Eve, Australian time as well. So next Thursday is New Year's Eve here. So we get Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Which will mean next year it'll be Christmas Day and New Year's Day. So we probably won't stream those days. Two Arctic Wolves has got to go. Merry Christmas, Two Arctic Wolves. Friday catch I survived the shops. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? My husband deals with all the the um Christmas Eve shopping. I send him out with a shopping list. Got your rolls. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I've got rolls on the shopping list. Whoops, I better tell him. Flipping rolls. Come on, little tiny bit of doom. That was annoying. Um, Holly's got a few whips to finish before the end of the year. Do you think you'll get them done, Holly? I've got a couple I want to get done before tomorrow, but that's not going to happen. Oh, I think this is the last little one. That was torture. 100% don't recommend. But doesn't it look cute? It's totally worth it. Joss just finished wrapping her last present. Congratulations, Joss. Do you get grandbabies this year for Christmas? I mean, I know you have grandbabies, but whether or not they get to, you get to see them on Christmas is another question. getting there we nearly got all these done we've got this one the rest of this one and one more and then we're all weeded oh 
Oops, I can hear someone at the door. They're still live on YouTube, whoever that is. Opening the door up wide. That's my husband, he's come in. Hang on guys, I've got to send him the shopping list. And bread rolls, we need bread rolls. One of the girls reminded me. I don't know, like 11 billion. Like, how many people have we got coming? Like, 77,000. Um, I can't hear you, Tim, over the air conditioner. I'm sorry. Nearly. Um, Christmas shopping. No, that's not it. Where did it go? <laughs> I'm like, Tim, you've got access to the shopping list and now I can't find it. Hey, I'm thinking I may have archived it. Archived. Yeah, I did. I archived it. How do I unarchive something? No, unarchive. Check to see if you've got access. If your name's on it. Archive. It was. I've unarchived it. Yeah. All right. Just double check that that's all there. It's it's gone off the archive list. How stupid am I? Uh, everyone's saying hello. You should come and say hello. He doesn't want to. He's all like, oh, boy. Come and say hello. Not, uh, no, you're fine. Dirty, dirty it doesn't matter. They know you're doing yard work. Come on. Just come and say hi and wave. It's just a little tiny box screen at the top. See? Oh, so no, you no, have no. to squat down a little. You've got to squat down. There we go. Oh. Come in. Oh, oh, there's the camera over there. Yeah, it's up there. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> all right thanks honey <laughs> it'll run away so fast <laughs> um i never sally says i never make new year's resolutions we normally head down to my parents place to watch the fireworks but this year we'll be staying at home yep yeah he's run away now he's like i'm out He's off to do all the shopping and to pick up the cheesecake. And this year I did outsource a few Christmas things that I would have normally made myself, but I didn't feel, I didn't feel it. So I'll let him know that you've all said hello because he's run away now. He's off to the shops and buying the booze. Stuff, stuff resolutions, if it's not already happening, it's not gonna. See, I, I more than actual resolutions, I try to think about my plan for the year ahead. That, that plan normally ends up in a dumpster fire somewhere. But, you know, I like to try and have a think about some things that I would like to work on. or Not always work related, sometimes it's family stuff. So, you know, I found a way that seems to be working to get the, the hoosies off my little weeding tool. I picked up this weeding tool, like the actual weeding tool that comes with your Cricut is a bit different. It looks like some vicious dentistry thing. And I like it. It's got a nice handle on it and it's easy to use. But I saw someone using one of these ones shaped like a pen. It's got like just a very sharp little metallic point. So it was very, um, it's much easier, I think. Um, normally it is packed with cars by five, so we won't be able to park anywhere. I don't even think the fireworks are on. Yeah. i got to find somebody who will actually sell clay for sculpting. Oh, that is a tough one. How to be a cricket ninja. Yes, that's something on my list. I definitely want to get better at using my cricket and be less scared of doing the iron-on stuff. That's because that's where I'm at the moment. The iron-on stuff freaks me. I tried to do a thing for my daughter yesterday and I I scorched the shirt. <clears throat> so, you know, that's a bed shirt now. Um, 
I got a fitness tracker a couple of weeks ago, averaging walking five kilometers a day, but found out that crocheting reads as walking. It does. How do you know which bead to weed out? So you kind of like, you pull off one bit. It's like you think of it in rows and you weed from the outside in. You do one, leave the next, do one, leave the next. At least that's how I do it. I don't know if it's a hundred percent right, but that's what I'm doing. So um, I've just done in here, so I leave this here and it means I've got to pick out all these little circles. I don't know if you can see that, but with my antlers in the way. Um, and while it's not very clear on camera, it's very clear to see. Kathy wants to relearn how to knit. I don't know why that was blocked. That was weird. Um, that's a cool thing, like reigniting an old passion, something you know you could do and you just need a refresher. Yeah, I definitely want to get better with this and utilise it for lots of different things. We've got our retreat coming up as well, so if any of you are local, you can go over to the website and check out the retreat information. There's still a couple of spaces left if you are interested in coming and hanging. Um, in April. And it looks like a lot of events are planning to go ahead. So the Crochet Guild of Australia looks like their retreat or their, what do they call that? It's not a retreat. It's um, something else. Conference. Conference is going ahead. Um, your antlers are staying out of the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I did push them back on my head a little. Uh, I just didn't know if it was making a difference or not. Antlers. Who would have thought antlers would have been the problem today? Not me. Okay, now we've got a little fine one that we've got to... All done. Run to the last one. Are you guys alright to hang out for one more? It's a quick one. Well, at least it should be a quick one. I may have spoken too soon now. And this goes. And that stays and this goes. Okay, now I've got to go around and pick up just all these little circles and who's he what's I have no way to get there and back, so I have to sit this retreat out. Oh, Talia, if that's your only issue, let me know um, and, you know, send me a, a DM. We've got some people who are sharing rides and things like that if you're interested. Um, did anyone try the Cadbury gingerbread chocolate? It's so yummy. I have not tried it, although I do love gingerbread, so I didn't even know it was a thing. Um have to go. Hope everyone has a safe and Merry Christmas. Thank you, Vampia. You too. We're nearly done. Oh, come on. I 
one day I'll be quick at this and in two hours we'll get weeding done and things put on cups. Maybe next year we can see if I've improved. Maybe next year I'll just do the right number to start with. All right. Oh, no. One more, one more, one more. I thought that one was all done. Okay. That's all done. Oh, goodness me. Okay. Well, you guys, I'm going to run away. I will see you all after Christmas. Next, year, next week we will have... Um, We'll definitely have another live stream. It might be a bit shorter. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, I really want to, again, just say thank you to all of you. And I hope you all uh, get to have a, a restful and safe Christmas period. Um, and I just hope that you all, I know it's hard for everybody at the moment because not everyone can be with their families. Um, but I just really hope that, that you all, get to you know enjoy the time that you do have and i will see you all next week bye